great start to the weekend here as we've got baseball from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Tonight, the first of this three-game weekend series between the Texas Rangers and the New York Yankees. The Rangers have played excellent baseball of late. They'll try to bring their win streak to a baker's dozen next. Played is Rodrigo Hill. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Lead half of the first. For the Yankees, the third baseman, Rodrigo Hill. Here's the pitch. Hey. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. And fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team entering play here tonight. All you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Matty, this is the best team hey, in baseball now. right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this hot. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. The pitch. Ah, uh, got him swinging on the split-fingered pitch, and that's out number one. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location, so a good job there of exploiting that. That can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. That is second. Not in short now, stop. Anthony Volpe. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. The average hits at a cool 305 entering play. Two home runs and seven driven in. Hey, one away, one away. Weak run, run, rounder run. down the line at third. But a foul ball, one and one. Now here's the pitch. Now a flare out to left okay. center. Jackson right, right. backs up and takes care of it. Two away. With that, it's time to check out the starting lineup for the hometown Yankees. Thoughts, Dan? Who stands out? Well, this team really needs that six-hole hitter to step up a bit. He's really struggled in the power category the last ten games. How about zero home runs? You wouldn't expect that from a guy with the kind of power that he displays. Hopefully, this is the game he turns it around. So no need to wait as here he is as the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. 287 the average coming in. Three homers, ten RBIs. Wind up and the 0 1. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Aggressive swings out of him to start this at bat, but he hasn't been able to put the ball in play. Time to use that aggressiveness and make him chase now. Into the wind up, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Ball one. Wow, that was a pretty good two strike slider right there. I think that would fool them and the umpire, too. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. Those are the pitches in the game that you don't get back as an offensive player. I know it's easy sitting up here in the booth calling the game, but he'll be thinking about that one for a while if he doesn't get a hit in this at bat right here. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Yankees come up empty. We played an inning in the Bronx. No score here on the show. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Andujar. First pitch on the way. Miguel Andujar is in to start one. things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Oh, 
Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Mack, he's the kind of pitcher that a lot of pitching coaches and managers really appreciate and that he rarely issues the free pass. He's a strike thrower. Yeah, Matty V, and I think every pitching coach and every manager loves to have a guy like this on his staff. He won't beat himself. He'll make you put the ball in play, and he's not afraid to get his defense allowed. He's a pitch-to-contact guy, and that's one of the keys why he's been able to be such a good pitcher at this level. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. That is good. The center fielder. Here now is Adam Hazley. As the first pitch ball. misses to him, it's ball one. He'll start this one at 269. Two home runs and 16 RBIs. The 1 0 home is in there for strike one. One out, nobody on. Plays that first here. Fouled away. And another foul ball. Try again, one, two. High in the air down the right field line. Right oh, fielder oh, giving chase. Oh. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. So next to hit is David nice. Garcia. He's hitting just the above catcher. the banner 300 Big mark man. on the season coming into this Good. one. First pitch of the A.B. now. Hey. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Hey, I admit I'm a little biased. There's nothing better than that pop of a glove on a good fastball. Looking forward to hearing a lot more of that pop the rest of this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. You know, when you're facing a top-of-the-line pitcher like this, He's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing hey, whatever mistakes out, he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. Oh, he went for the knockout pitch that time, but a good eye. One and two. Got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. <laughs> Leading off the inning, it'll be Lazaro Armenteros. As they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Here. 
And he gets him to swing through that no one. He's in control 0 and 2. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. He froze him on the fastball there. Lazaro Armenteros is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the third. Next to hit is Jordan Luplo. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air out towards shallow right. Dean will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. Bases are empty here with two away. And that will bring up the second baseman, Root Nodor. First pitch on its way. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Fastball Inside, just ball misses. One. That's ball one. And here we go. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Man, this pitcher is on right now. Pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Found it softly down the line toward first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail things here two to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Rodrigo Hill. Rodrigo Hill. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. If this offense is going to be this aggressive, I'm going to expect this pitcher and catcher combo to expand the one, zone. One, one. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to first in time, one away. So stepping in is Anthony Volpe. Flew out last time up. And now the first pitch. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. The Yankees still on the lookout for hit number one here. Yankee shortstop behind in the count one and two. High fastball right there with a two strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away off the plate. And the slider gets him swinging to gone. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks and we're just in the middle innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. So here now is Ty France. The first baseman. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Weakly hit towards first. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're still down. It's 2-0. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He leads off from the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, no doubt about it. You can tell in between innings the veterans in that dugout going up and down the line, trying to keep this lineup from getting super frustrated. They just have to find a way to piece it together, maybe pass the baton, get some wheels in motion, maybe get aggressive on the base pass if they can get somebody on. Here we go, guys. 
Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Hey, we got no outs. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here, as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Next up, Adam Hazley. He flew out in his last A.B. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Hazley. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2, and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. Fastball just inside. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. He's got good swing and miss stuff in this game. That's back-to-back -back K's, and that was his ninth of the game. If you're striking out one or more an inning, you're throwing the ball pretty well. Next, it'll be David Garcia, and he'll really have to dial it in here, going up against one of the best strikeout relievers around. Now here's the first offering. And he swings oh, through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Hey, this guy's got to be pretty proud of what he's done so far. It's never easy to pitch on the road, but to have this kind of outing in a ballpark that is notoriously known as being hitter-friendly, it's been a treat to watch. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail it here three to nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and at the plate to be the speedy the outfielder, AP. Lazaro Armenteros. And he just keeps Armin. rolling oh, along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's ah. too late to try and work counts. No Behind 0-2 right. now. Struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Well, you could tell by their approach that they're going to go up there to try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. Now that, the right field. So now to the Jordan. plate, Jordan Luplo. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And he fouls this one off. One down, one down. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball. And the hitter just fouls that one off. Fouled off. Oh, 
Nope. And that's a ball. he looks at a ball, one and two. No runs, no hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Stepping in next, Rupna Dabur, two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. Oh, sure. Sent out to straightaway center field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Back to the top of the lineup, stepping Rico. in, Rodrigo Gill grounded the out in his last at bat. Rodrigo Gill. Here's the first pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Plays it first. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Now you could just see this guy out on the mound right here, just the body language. He knows he's on top of his game, executing a nasty slider down the way right there, giving this offense no chance. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there. And it just seems like we've seen so many off balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. Now that at the plate Let's now, stop. Anthony Volpe. Anthony. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. That misses well, that's wide. One ball and one strike. Get out towards second. Scooped up. And that's the second out. So here is Ty France third trip to the plate for him here he struck out and grounded out in his first two tries and now pitch on the way as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one. Swung on and missed that strike two. Yeah, Matty, he's had these guys on the proverbial rocking horse all Double night, changing speeds, you know? hitting every quadrant. He's tough to hit. And he struck him out to retire the side, so he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. So the Yanks go one, two, three. They trail here four to nothing. The designated hitter. On its way is pitch number 75. Pulled hard down the line and left. In there for extra bases, and there goes the perfect game. Throw into second, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Uh, so he makes it through seven innings, but they finally get to him for their first hit of the ball game here in inning number eight. Yeah, Matty D, and that just goes to show you how hard it is to pitch a no-no. Gets through 21 consecutive outs without getting up a hit, D-Roll, but that wasn't the case here to start off the eighth. Yeah, so much has to go into it. You need to be a little lucky, and you need to be a little good right there. Flip the script on the offensive standpoint. They've stayed with their approach, haven't come out of it, and hopefully this gets them jump-started. Now the one and one pitch. And Duhar stands at second with no outs. Oh, 
got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Next to stand in is David Garcia, who was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball on the inner third, taken for a strike. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. And he takes strike two. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. One out and a runner on second base. There we go. Left side, but well fouled. And it's fouled away. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Lazaro Armenteros is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 and 1. No hits to this point. The 0 1 on its way. Mm, got him on his front foot. It's 0 and 2. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking him up. One left for the Yankees. They're down 4 nothing. Play. Jordan Luplo. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Here's the pitch. Jordan. He starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball. You need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. Off the plate. One ball, one strike. And that's on the outside corner. One and two. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. At the plate now is Rupnit Odor. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Oh, Hey, we got one here, guys. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Not even one, close like on that swing. No balls and a strike. Not too many guys taking the mound today go, with guys. this Let's good go. a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's falling off the table. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Obviously, he's not fatiguing whatsoever. Still in the mid to high 90s with his fastball. These guys got to stay on the attack if they're going to have a chance. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Rupnit Odor goes quietly, and they've got only one out left. Next to the dig back. in, Rodrigo Gill. He's their last Rodrigo. shot here with two away in the ninth yeah. as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just one, haven't one, had one. any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Throw will be in time to get him at first base, and the Rangers will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. A 5-0 finish tonight. The Texas Rangers took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jay Mack earns his sixth winning decision in this one as he tosses a complete game one hitter. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Clark.